this video, I'm going to, what I call, Frankensteining some patterns together to make something I've wanted for a long time. A hoodie that is also a coat. I'm using a Vogue jacket pattern, 1714, the skirt part from Retired McCall's 6818, and the hood from Retires McCall's 7261. First I cut out all of the pieces. I took the two side back pieces and with right sides together, sewed them to the center back piece. Then I took the upper yoke piece and sewed it to the top to make the fold back piece. Next I took the front side pieces and sewed it to either side of the back piece. But I didn't sew the shoulder seams yet. And I set that aside. Next I moved on to McCall's 6818 pattern to sew the skirt. I sewed the two back sides and back fronts together. On the back piece, there is a circle where I marked it with a pin. Then I sewed the two back pieces together to that pin. The rest is separate. Lining up the centers, I sewed the skirt part to the back bodice part. Since it was from two different patterns, I was honestly surprised they fit perfectly together. Next I took one front piece and the right sides together, sewed that to the one side of the front side piece. The pattern calls for two of these pieces, but I'm just making a hoodie, not a jacket, so I used only one. Next I sewed one half of the separating zipper face down to the front panel. Once you turn the cut edge to hem it, the zipper will be facing the correct way. And in the same way, the other half of the zipper to the front side piece. Then I sew the shoulder seams together. Next, I sewed the sleeves together. For a jacket pattern, it's in two pieces for mobility. Sew the two sides together to make the sleeves. Once the sleeves are sewn and serged, I pin them to the bodice part and sewed. I also did my cuffs with a thumb hole in it. For a tutorial on how to do that, check out the link in the description or in the upper right corner. Finally, I cut out the hood for McCall 7261. I decided to line it with the most amazing print chenille fabric. Using the lining to demonstrate, because it's easier to see better than the black fleece, I sewed the middle strip to the outer edge. I trimmed the lining a bit because I'd have to fold the front edge to make the channel for the hoodie cord. Matching up the seams and wrong sides together, I pinned the lining to the outer layer and based them together. Before I folded the front part, I put in two sided grommets to house the hoodie cord. Once I sewed the front hem, I fed a string through the pocket and pulled the hoodie cord with that. 
Once that was done, I tied a knot on the either end. This cord is nylon and doesn't melt when heated. I then found the center of the hood, matched it up with the center of the hoodie coat, and right sides together, I pinned them and sewed them. I covered that seam with some more fabric like a bias tape to make it less bulky at the neck. Lastly, I have this eyelet trim. I cut strips of it and hand sewed it on the back for lacing it later. Finally, I have my epic hoodie. Not only does it look cool, but when wearing it around the house, the skirt doubles as a blanket for cozy afternoons. I can't wait to wear it.